major part in its obvious success. It was time to acknowledge that this was also the first time the nation had benefited from the collective energy of its young people, of its students, who would be among its leaders tomorrow. And in thanksgiving for this fact, great festivals of youth were held throughout the country. In Mogadishu, President Siad himself attended these festivals, presenting medals and scrolls to all who had distinguished themselves over the grueling half year. With the campaign, the Somali people had reached a peak of national unity. Its benefits seen, progressive forces throughout the country stood ready to defend the gains of the revolution. Students now, with teachers, youth groups, doctors, farmers, engineers and the armed forces themselves, were all united in their resolve to carry the nation further still. publicly accepted as active participants in their country's struggle, the nation's youth celebrated with colorful displays of their achievements and their future hopes. 